Yeah, can you send the next patient in, please? Thank you. <sighs> hey, how are you? Yeah, have a seat right there on the uh, little table. It's been a while. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a while, which is always good. <laughs> you don't want people coming into the doctor too often, right? That's good to hear. Yeah, I'm doing all right. Yeah, a little achy, you know, getting up there in age, you know, you can start to get a little achy. <laughs> so, uh, what can I help you with today? Because I haven't seen you in a while. It doesn't look like anything's bothering you. Uh, cranial nerve exam. Yeah, well, yeah, we do do them. I do them. Uh, so does my partner. Yeah, about two years ago, uh, we started six months ago, but about two years ago, we have something we were keeping an eye on. It's going around, you know. The profession people were starting to come in and, and wanting to get them done so uh, we started to you know throw that in into the mix um yeah it's a good way to just test your senses and stuff and it's a good way to actually find out some other underlying issues as well those little things you wouldn't typically uh, notice and stuff it, it, it's a good way to find that stuff out <clears throat> yeah so yeah i absolutely can do that for you <clears throat> is there any reason you want to have it done or just want to get up in the end. Just want to see what it's all about and get it, get getting a good idea of what uh, how your senses are holding up at the moment. That's fine. Yeah. Have, have you been suffering any you know issues with your you know your sight or your taste, you know your smell or your, your touch or your you know hearing anything? Sight's been feeling a little. You've been getting a little blurred vision recently. Hearing's been okay. Taste and everything else seems fine. All right, well, we'll go through the uh, procedure here, and uh, you know, if I've noticed anything, I'll let you know. So hopefully, it's you know, nothing's up and everything's all good. But uh, let me just call up your chart. Oh no, you, yeah, you haven't been here in a little while. Yeah, we just started getting these. They give us these iPads now. It's an easy way for us to uh, keep up with everything on the computer. Let me just. Uh, Let's call up your file here. Uh, there you are. All right. Let me just—I uh, just want to quickly. Uh, obviously, all your date of birth and everything the same. Have you changed address recently? Oh yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. New apartment. Nice. All right. Well, let me just get that information. Let me just get rid of this. Let's just get you through that, and now where are you? So you were previously at 25 Seton Road. All right, so where are you at now? 265 Ocean Avenue. Uh, apartments eat, all right. All right, that's good. The update, it's cool. Yeah, you're in a complex now. Nice, nice. Yeah, I know you're at the uh, apartment in the house. All right. Is anything else? Is anything else different? Just that. Okay. So let me go back here. Get it onto your file. All right. All right. Well, keep that there for the moment. All right. Real quickly though, first, uh, this is something we've been doing. I'm going to say these two words to you, and at the end of the exam, I'm going to ask for you to tell me what they are, all right? So the two words are salt and film. Salt and film. Yeah, I have them written down here because I'll probably forget them. <laughs> and we do change the words up with people, so it's never the same words. <clears throat> all right, well, you know what? Let's do, uh, we'll do your sense of smell first. <clears throat> Oh, where are... Oh, here we are. Yeah, it's been a little bit of a hectic day this morning, yeah. Someone came in with an emergency, and yeah. we had to just look them over real quick and get them out to the ER. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so let's start your sense of smell. All right, I'm going to just ask you to close your eyes here. First, we close one nostril. 
and I'm going to put three uh, scents under your nose. I just want you to identify them, right? Okay, so just close your eyes. You can keep them closed for the duration of this too, unless you're just uncomfortable and you want to open them. All right, <clears throat> then we can wait a few minutes and then you can you know, redo the process. All right, here's the first one. Okay, got a good whiff. Yep, that's uh, correct. It is pepper. All right, close the other nostril. Do another one now. Keep those eyes closed. Okay. Get a good whiff. I got a good whiff myself. Absolutely, those are cloves. All right. <clears throat> Both nostrils, though you got you got both of those smells nice. So you can you don't have to close any nostrils now. Just keep your eyes closed, please. Do the third one here. Make it a good whiff. Tell me what that one is. Yep, that's ginger. Want to do one more? All right, let's do another one. Yeah, we only do actually have four, but you obviously hit the first three, so. All right, same thing. Close the other eyes again. Get a good whiff. Yep. That is peppermint. Excellent. <clears throat> Just call up the old uh, chart here again. All right, so your first one is... Smell is perfect. This first one down. All right. All right, we're going to do a site now. So it's usually the longest portion of this. And you said you've been getting a little blurred vision recently. <clears throat> All right. And yeah, I, typically, I know you've said your eyesight has been uh, good in the past. So, all right. <clears throat> well, let's just, all right. Look straight ahead at me. Don't turn your head or anything. Just look straight. <clears throat> Just gonna put bring this light here in from the side, and I just want to see how uh, your eyes react. All right? Perfect. Yeah, they both opened up nicely. <clears throat> And now they have closed as well. All right, good. <clears throat> All right, well, same thing. I'm going to put the light in again here. I'm going to put it on the higher setting, and I just want you to look straight. And then, yeah, just look either way, but don't move your head. Just look either way. All right, just want to look on each side of the eye. It's not bothering you, is it? No. Okay. Looks good there. Looks good there. You bang your head or anything recently, right? Okay. Yeah, there's no styes or anything there, so that's good. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> let's do the old the classic follow the pen. Same thing. I'm going to want you to look straight ahead at me. I want you to cover your one eye. Yeah, your left one's fine for the moment. And just follow this pen, all right? Perfect. All right, now close the right. Same thing. Keep that eye covered. I'm going to bring this in. Sorry, I'm going to bring this out of your vision. Just tell me when you stop seeing it. All right. All right, now cover the other one. All right, perfect. <clears throat> Peripheral vision is pretty solid as well. 
All right, now keep that eye closed, and I'm going to bring it in now. Tell me, just tell me when it pops into vision. All right, other eye now. All right, all right, that looks good as well. <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> yeah, the eyes are like I said, the eyes are always uh, the longest uh, part, <clears throat> but that looks good. <clears throat> All right, well, you know, let's do the pen real quick again, and I want you to actually turn your head this time and follow it. Hmm. Yeah, it is. It's really windy out today. It's cold. Oof, it's cold. Hope that's not a sign of a uh, bad winter. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I just like to do that movement. Just I like to also see how your you know your head's turning. We'll do a little bit more of, of some head movements in in a few minutes. <clears throat> All right, well, last part of the eye portion here is, and I didn't see any styes or anything when looking at the light, so last, I want to do the last one here, so. It's the old eye chart here, yeah. We just bring this one up, you know, I've left it up because I did a cranial nerve exam earlier, so. Yeah, all right, I just need to get up here. All right, well, what we're gonna do with both eyes open at the moment, <clears throat> all right. Start with the old biggie. Perfect. Line two. Yep. Three. Perfect. Four. Yep. Five. Six. Yep. Seven. Perfect. Eight. Nine. Nice. Ten. Yeah, you missed two on that one. You want to go for eleven? All right, let's go. Let's see what we got. Yeah, you missed four there. That's not bad though at all. <clears throat> all right. All right. So now close your left. Start from the top again. Yep. Two. two there. Ten. I right, missed three there. Now we bother with eleven. All right, so close the other eye. Same thing. Yeah, I know it gets repetitive. We know you got this one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Yeah, and let me know if you can't see. Like, don't base it off memory. Six, seven. All right, you missed two on seven. Eight. You missed three there as well. Can you see nine? No, it's a bit blurry. All right. Okay. And your eye, your eyesight's typically you know, is good. All right. Okay, well, let me just put that in with the old iPad. Yeah, you gotta keep turning this thing on. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I mean, if your vision continues to stay a little blurry, this is obviously the eye that's causing it. The left eye is causing it. So definitely uh, check. Go to see your eye doctor if it's concerning you. You haven't had any headaches or anything with it. No, could just be your eye changing. Like I said, you know. So go to just go to see your uh, eye doctor. You know, and he can really get get in there for you. All right. I mean, I don't I don't know if it's too much to concern. Right? You don't have any headaches or anything like that, and it doesn't happen all the time, but. Could just be getting older, maybe the eyes getting weaker, you know. So yeah, definitely see. All right, well that's that. All right, 
Now we're gonna do. Uh, I want to do some facial facial touching there. Get in there with the old gloves. Yeah, the heat just kicked on. It's a bit cold, so. <clears throat> Just look at me. I'm going to do a few things. Just touch a few things. I'm going to need you to do a few little things. Nothing crazy. It's not nothing. Yeah, nothing wild. All right. Just raise your eyebrows as high as you can. All right. Give me a nice smile. Keep your mouth closed, but smile. Like it's hard for me to smile. It's not natural for me sometimes. I know that sounds weird. All right. That looks good. And you can do your frown. That's good. Yeah, puff out your cheeks. I just want to touch them real quick. All right. Can you grit your teeth? Like, all right. All right. Now, I want you to close your eyes and just keep them tight. And I'm going to try to get in there and just, I'm not going to use too much pressure, but I'm just, you know, just resist me trying to get them open. All right. Okay, here we go. Now I want to feel uh, your jaw area in here. Yeah, just give like a, a nice clenched jaw. Perfect. Feel good. No pain or anything? No. Good. Perfect. 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 All right. All right, I want you to, I'm going to put push on your shoulders. Just give me a nice shrug of your shoulders. All right. All right. Now I want you to look. Just move your neck like this both ways. Just do it three times. Yeah, yeah. Back and forth. Three times. All right. Now can you a little bit of this? There's no pain either with any of that. Okay. I want to feel up around your temples as well. No pain there. Good. I'm gonna feel the back of your neck. No pain there either. Right, that's good. And I'm going to press down on your shoulders here to get digging there deep. Nothing there either. All right, that's good. Yeah. Just give me a few uh, blinks too. Just like kind of like exaggerated blinks. Yeah, yeah. All right. No strain or no like quick. Yeah, and that's not causing any blurriness, right? All right. All right. All right. Excellent. <clears throat> All right, well, we'll stick with this theme since we're here. And we're going to do a little touch. The old extended jute tip bit. All right, I'm going to need you to close your eyes again. And I'm going to be touching points on your face, left cheek, right cheek, chin, forehead, nose. And just tell me where I'm touching, right? It's gonna be very light touches, so you know. Yeah. Alright, you ready? Alright, close those eyes. Yep, forehead. Nose. Right cheek. Left cheek. And forehead again. Yep, that's right. Yeah, you do. You got them all so far. Just a few more. Cheek. Yep. Cheek. All right, perfect. You got them all. You can open your eyes there. Good stuff. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, all that's fine. You, you suffer no pain in there. You don't get really many headaches, right? Yeah. All right, that's good. It's always good. Oh, yeah, my headache's been acting up lately. Actually, I should go back to my neurologist. <laughs> yeah, it is always funny, right? When <laughs> doctors go to see other doctors, right? But that's why you go to these specialists, because they know what they're talking about. I'm not one of those doctors who thinks I know everything about things that aren't my specialties, you know? <laughs> all right. Let's get the pad back into play. Third part. Touch. 
identified touch spots. All right, so we got two more things here. I'm going to taste right now. <clears throat> yeah, you've been able to, you know, taste everything you've needed to. Yeah. Two little tabs here. No, they're not acid. <laughs> That's pretty funny, though, actually. I've never heard that before. <laughs> it's, uh, oh, no, not since high school. <laughs> All right. I got two little tabs here. Let's put them out. Throw those off quickly. Just kind of, yeah, suck on them a little bit. Throw those off quickly, though. Here's the first one. They're going to be, uh, it's either going to be very sweet, it's going to be sour, or it's going to be like a, a bit, um, Salty, I guess. Yeah. Right, so just identify what that one is. All right. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that one's obviously sour. Yeah, I can tell by the expression on your face. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah, you can take a little bit of water from uh, yeah that sink there. There's a cup there. Just rinse that out if you want. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. All right. Here's the second one. Same thing. It's not going to be sour, this one. I'll tell you that. I guess I'm kind of cheating, but... <laughs> Alright, take this one. Yep. That is sweet. Alright, perfect. <clears throat> yeah, same thing. Yeah, you know, take another swig of that water there. Get those tastes out of your mouth. Yeah, they're not too terrible. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, want tissue? There you go. Yeah, it's freezing out. Allergies have been acting up and stuff. Yeah, sometimes when it just gets too cold, it just you know your nose will just run naturally. <clears throat> nah. Okay. Yeah, the taste part is always quick. Okay. So let's just jot that down. Taste. All right, well, last portion of the exam here. It's going to be a hearing. This is another easy one. You're going to have to close your eyes again. I'm just going to go from ear to ear. I'm going to say a few words first. Tell me what you hear. I'm going to do it at different volumes. Then I'm going to say a few numbers. And just same thing, tell me what you hear, all right? All right, we're going to start over here. Right. Yeah, close your eyes. Yeah, yeah, cover your yeah, cover the opposite ear, too, just so... You know, no outside noise gets in. All right. Baseball. Wall. Tray. Can you tell me what words are? Yep, spot on. All right. Over here now. Those eyes closed. Book. Bat. Territory. Yeah, perfect. This year now. Yeah, perfect. All right. Now I'm going to do a chain of numbers in each year. Yeah, I'm just going to do these these ones twice. And I just want you, you know once in each year. And I just want you to repeat back the chain. Yeah? Okay, here we go. Chain. All right, excellent. Okay, so 
Staying with the ears, keep those eyes closed. I'm going to do both ears now. I just want, to, I want you to just tell me if you can hear the sound. It's going to get a little loud and a little soft. I just want to hear, if you can hear, if, tell me if it's close or it's far. All right. Okay, here we go. Yep, close. Okay. Hmm, far. This side now. Hmm, that was far. That was also far. And that was close. You can open your eyes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I always go in with the both ears there. It's a little. It can be a little startling, but uh, ears. Ears sound fine. <clears throat> yeah, you've never come ever come in with any ear problems. You've have you ever had to go to the ENT or anything? Just once, but that was yeah. You had a little bit of a yeah, buildup of water fluids. Yeah. And I know that they go in with the little thing and they get it out. It's it's, it's an odd feeling. All right. I don't back on here to fill out the hearing portion. All right. <clears throat> oh yeah, and uh, can you tell me the two words that I uh, gave to you at the beginning? Yep, salt and film. Excellent. Nice little. Uh, yeah, I like to do a nice little memory thing there as well, just to see if you know you you can reach back in there and grab those words from your brain, you know, and you were able to. So that's uh that's really good. Okay, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully that doesn't turn into any serious cold or anything. All right. Well, you did excellent. I will. Uh, I'm gonna you know bank that, put that in the uh, your file, and if you'd like, you can come back in about six months. We can do another one match it up with this and see you know if anything's changed this is another good way to do it you don't have to really come in, in six but it's good after that first one to come in six then you can come in like a year or you can come in sooner if you feel something's changed but it's a good way to you know just match up the files and stuff you know match up see what you've done so see if there's any deterioration in anything or anything you know or even if there's been improvement as well you know a lot of people who get concussions and stuff will come in and do these tests as well it's it's a good uh barometer for that to see how you're coming along if you have a concussion <clears throat> hopefully you don't have to come in because of that but yeah and, and just you know go to your eye doctor you know if you, you know if you feel the eye is really an issue you know if the blurriness is you could just be you know your sight's getting older you know maybe you need you need you know glasses for that eye or contact or something said go to him and whatnot yeah absolutely yeah yeah you know if you have any other issues it's good to see you. it's been a while um like I said, we'll, we'll file this, you know, everything beside, you know, besides a little bit in the eye, but that could be nothing, you know, you, you, you did it excellent. And yeah, definitely, you know, come see me again in six months. We can do another one. We'll match them up, see if you've improved. Maybe the eye has gotten better. Hopefully it hasn't gotten worse. Hopefully none of the other senses as well have gotten worse. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, definitely stay warm out there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm dreading going back out there later. All oh, the wind is brutal with that wind chill. All right, yeah, stay warm. Yeah, man. I'll see you next time. All right. Enjoy your day. And thank you. Okay. Let's put this into the old file. All right. Perfect. Hey, Jess, can you send in the next patient? All right. Yep. Thank you. Ah, busy day.